think in at number four is a good game. I have it on my iPhone, or I had it on my iPhone until my iPhone broke. If you watch my video, um, it's even better on DS. It's just e the the touch interface for this game is just awesome. It really brings the DS's touch interface into life, really. Um, it is Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll. Super Monkey Ball is uh, started on Nintendo GameCube, and ever since then has sold a lot of copies, and a lot of people like it. And I can see why. It is a brilliant game. So that's Super Monkey Ball. Okay, so number three we have Animal Crossing Wild World. Well, well to most people, Animal Crossing is a habit. It was a habit for me when I used to play um, this game because I don't play DS much anymore. Uh, it is a brilliant game. I mean, you have to go around. Um, what, sorry, oh go around the virtual world full of little like animal characters. You have to make your character you have to like progress his life. You have to fish, uh, you hunt, you uh, dig and stuff. You cut down trees. Uh, you meet new friends. You can connect wirelessly as well with Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it's a good game, so yeah. I'm like, okay, now we get to number two. Now this, I don't really play D Nintendo DS a lot. I was just rummaging through my videos and I thought I'd make a DS. Then I, the other day, well, whenever it came out, which was quite a while ago actually, uh, I got this. This is number two. Guitar Hero on tour for DS. And here's the um, strum bar. And here's the pick for it. Obviously, I'll be on expert level as I rock up Guitar Hero again. The touch interface is really, really good on this. It's just an awesome game. It, should, it would be number one, except it took me quite a while to think what I should do as number one. And that's how they didn't make it, but it's still a brilliant game. Loads of new tracks, uh, interesting tracks actually. Some quite new ones, some quite modern, some quite old, some quite retro. It's a good game. Okay, so we get to number one, the big one. Now this game basically is the best game you'll ever play in your life on any platform, whether it be on the NES, the SNES, the N64, the GameCube, or the Wii. Uh, this basically, this game basically brought Nintendo to life, really kicked off Nintendo's career. And I'm glad they brought this out. When I heard that it was coming out on DS, I was like, yes! I was like, yeah, 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 it's coming out! It is Super Mario Bros. I don't know if the game is actually... Yeah, the game's not in that moment. But, oh god, this is Super Mario Bros. This is our top game. Now, everyone loves Mario games. I mean, you can't. Platform games. Mario invented platform games, basically. I know there's games out before, but this one was the pinnacle of all platform games. Super Mario Bros. It's just it's a bloody awesome game. So yeah, that was number one. Okay, so now we'll go from uh, number ten all the way down to one. I hope I haven't really taken that long, but here we go. Need to be most wanted. Number ten. Shit, sorry, sorry. Uh, not here. Number nine. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Number eight. Number seven, Spyro. Number six, Crash Bang Boom. Uh, number five, Mario Kart. Number four, or oh, Animal Crossing. No, number four, Monkey Ball. And number three, Animal Crossing. Um, number two, DS on tour. It's a good job I've got a massive desk. Uh, number one, Super Mario Bros. So there we go. Top Nintendo DS games. I've been winning him. Ciao for now.